I'm Susan Feller from West Virginia. I'm the lead juror for the Reimagined Challenge, and I've known Joe and Judy for over nine years because of our mutual interest in rug hooking. Most of the time that we've worked on projects has been by internet. Why a virtual digital exhibition only for textile and fiber artists in the Southern Hemisphere? Many competitions and exhibitions specifically restrict entrance to those artists from the United States, Canada, and the UK, and they state this restriction directly, or their online form simply won't accept a foreign address. The bottom line is that fiber and textile artists from the South have fewer opportunities to have their work seen and critiqued by other artists. The challenge was open to all textile artists in the Southern Hemisphere in order to spread the word about the use of rug hooking techniques in creations other than rugs and to rug makers to work outside their comfort zone. We are both members of the Australian Rug Makers Guild and yet we didn't have them coordinate this exhibition. The Guild was never structured to handle this type of activity and we knew that we would not be able to form a committee of people who would be interested in this type of online presentation. The Guild is not an incorporated group, which means we have the flexibility to do things without having to adhere to restrictions and limitations imposed on groups by the government or other agencies. For our virtual online exhibition, we wanted something more than just a PowerPoint of images scrolling across the screen or one of those walkthrough programs used by real estate firms. We knew what we wanted in the way of a program. It was just a matter of finding it. As conveners on opposite sides of the country, Judy and I Skype daily about everything, from how to create application forms, send out the call for entries, and waivers for work to be shown, not only in the, for the exhibition, but also in publicity about the exhibition what types of entries could be submitted, and how they should be displayed. We had input from creative textile friends here and overseas. Now the exhibition's complete, we've decided to make this video because most people think creating the challenge and taking it to virtual exhibition status was easy. Just a matter of us requesting images, saving them to a computer file, and then the computer magically creating the exhibition. Instead, it's been hours of painstaking work to first find the host program, learn how to manage the technical side of it, and figure out things like how to request and receive large high-resolution images from participants. Joe and I tend to be doers and didn't want to put too many roadblocks in our way by overthinking this exciting concept. So perhaps it might have been a good idea to research and confirm we knew more about the programming of the gallery before sending out the call for entries. At the start, we didn't know what we didn't know. Our learning curve also included the actual setting up of a challenge, something that neither of us had done before, although from entering challenges ourselves, we were familiar with a call for entries and all the necessary forms of submission of work. Since technology is key to our being able to network with one another and with artists around the world, the idea of an online virtual exhibition seemed to be an obvious solution, but it proved not to be a simple one. After launching the challenge and with images of 3D entries coming in, we were excited and relieved to find a virtual gallery program complete with plinths for 3D creations. It offered a free trial and a tour of the program. Taking the tour was all it took for me to call on Kira Mead to join our team as curator and set up Reimagined. Kira had previously made videos for the Australian Rug Makers Guild, so I was sure she'd be able to handle this. Brainstorming sessions with Kira led to questions for the gallery programmers who responded promptly. We discovered what we needed were models, not 3D images. 3D models can be created by companies online from photographs. But the work needs to be photographed in a certain way, and this information was all too complicated to send to participants. 
The gallery rep was helpful when we inquired about using videos in place of a 3D image and he made the video option available to us. Unfortunately, this didn't work either. It was hard to get videos from participants with clear backgrounds and no extraneous noise. Even with a good video, we found it just didn't show well in the gallery amongst fixed images. So we settled for an overall image and one or more detailed images to portray 3D images. Curating an exhibition containing works by emerging artists as well as craftspeople and hobbyists is a real challenge. Kira successfully overcame this challenge and we feel the exhibit shows well. There's a good mix of entries which complement each other. We wanted jurors to come from outside Australia to be experienced rug hookers, but also have a background in art and design. As members of Tigger, the International Guild of Hand Hooking Rug Makers, and networking with members online, we were fortunate to be able to approach several artists in the United States and Canada who are actively promoting hooked works as textile art in galleries to act as our panel of jurors. Susan Feller, who has a long history with Tigger, became the lead juror and through her we made contact with Kathy Wright, the organiser of the annual Rug Hooking Week in Soda Village, Ohio, USA. Kathy was intrigued by our plans for the challenge to become a virtual exhibition and offered to debut the opening of the exhibition at Rug Hooking Week in August 2018. Why create the physical piece, Textile Tessera, to launch a virtual exhibition. There's been other challenges with participants using similar textiles or ingredients to create works to fit a specific brief culminating in an exhibition. But with a virtual exhibition, the challenge was how to provide those ingredients. That was solved for reimagined by creating a list of types of materials to be used as embellishments and rug making techniques which could be incorporated. There were no other requirements, size didn't matter, as shipping wouldn't be involved. We realized very early that the concept of a virtual, online, walk-through exhibition was going to be a difficult to explain to people who may be unfamiliar with new technologies. Rug Week at Souter Village involves hand-on activities, and we both felt that we should have mixed-media fiber pieces that would demonstrate how we here are using traditional techniques in a slightly different way. And the result of this challenge is another example of how jumping into the 21st century, rug hooking, and the traditions and contemporary people will be able to keep these skills alive. As conveners of Reimagined, we're happy with the end result. We're pleased that textile artists and craftspeople took up the challenge, that a panel of well-known international jurors gave their precious time, and that Kira so enthusiastically embraced the creation of this inaugural virtual exhibition. Thousands of people will see the exhibit at Souter Village and be inspired. <laughs>